Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Well, that was a professional start to the video. <laughs> We're doing some, playing New World today. There's a new event on called the Summer Medley Fair. And um, yeah, it's quite interesting. Actually, they kind of do these things seasonally. Um, and they've introduced music to the game as well, which I quite fancied the look of. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing. It's kind of like a bit of like a like a basic guitar hero type thing. But you've got quests and stuff to do. There's a there's a, a faction. There's like a bardish type faction thing where you um, increase your your faction with the summer fair, so you can buy rewards and stuff. It's all pretty uh, pretty cool. And uh, yeah. Why are you playing New World? Well, kind of, I'm, I'm kind of doing a script for a video, um, kind of semi-script for a video, talking about. Um, oh look, some we've got some. Oh no, are we? Oh, yeah, we've got some mining. About what I'm looking for in an MMO now, because those kind of things have uh, have changed. Where are the? Uh, okay, here we go. So we're going to play a song. You have to play a song at these bug swarms. To except yeah okay except that doesn't seem to be happening uh, normally when you reach this point um, it normally gives you an option to play a certain song for the bugs so you get something that doesn't seem to be happening maybe it's because maybe these briars are in the way not sure let's see if I can just play the song anyway um, it in? nope Okay, maybe this one's broken. That might be the that might be the case. When you look on the map here, yeah, it's because I'm in the vicinity, so it's showing that it's, someone's in the vicinity. Um, okay, well that one's not working, so we can run back to the other one, I think. Yeah, as I was saying, like I I kind of writing a script. Because um, I've been kind of working on it, for, on, working on it for a little while, and someone asked me the question recently, like, "What are you looking for in an MMO?" And um, I guess the reason that myself and many other people kind of move around is because it's, we're just struggling to find one that gives us everything that we're that we're looking for. Um, you know, like like as an ideal kind of situation from like a world point of view and from a a, a gathering point of view, which I've become quite addicted to gathering, strangely. Um, yeah, I, like New World is absolutely perfect. So it's kind of like if I could take if I could take the world exploration and the gathering from New World, and you know the combat from EverQuest, and um, the, like some of the quirky ideas that like Project Gorgon's got, for example, then that would kind of be my perfect game but you don't really get that <laughs> that's not how it works <laughs> so you kind of get so i personally anyway get left with going through oh here we go we can play it here i personally get left with going through yeah just stuff you're about to see the music system which as you can see is, is a bit of a bit of a guitar hero basic um this is a specific song you play at these bugs to get a reward as part of the the festival but they, but there's loads of instruments and I've and lot like the music has been introduced as a like a proper system. It's not a combat system. It's more like a fluffy system. But I'll play some music at some point. This is quite nice as well. That might have been a perfect all the way through. I think it's the first time I've done that. I played. This is just a novice song, um, and I played some songs on the slightly higher difficulty, and I can kind of perfect them 
but like my old brain is kind of was kind of struggling with them a bit. I think there's like a, a, a maestro level kind of thing, so that will be. I don't think I know how I'll get on with that. This is slightly different. Oh, I've got a great there, not perfect. That's it. That's it for this bit anyway. Amazing. Have I got one more? I think you can normally play three times at one spot. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that one again. Perfect all the way through. It might have been nice. A lot of people talking about how slow music is to level. It's like it's really slow. Um, you don't get much XP for for playing songs. And the XP doesn't really seem the XP doesn't go up. Like if you play a longer song, for example, you don't get more XP for playing a longer song. That kind of thing. So yeah, it's. Um, I'm getting event reputation. I should want to max out my reputation just to buy some of the the award the rewards basically. Um, let's have them go up here. What I was talking about earlier. This is the amazing thing of this with this world that they've created. They did so much wrong, and they still do so much wrong. But the world is just the most amazing thing to run around gathering. If you're a gatherer, like I just gather in New World. I wish it wasn't the case. I'd like to do other stuff, but you know after months of really going at it hard i just got fed up with the the pvp balanced combat and you know the weapons design around pvp and all that kind of stuff i know that it's a pvp game and that's fine i'm not not um i'm not moaning about that it's just the fact that as a pvp play, a pve player it just means that the combat is not what it could be they also do strange things as well like i don't know what it is with modern mmos but like in dungeons like you can't go in a dungeon on your own you have to be in a group. This game does it. Um, Lost Ark does it. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV gets around it by... Oh, that looks like a really atmospheric location down there. What is that? I've been there before, but that's not what I'm trying to do at the moment. So let's see if we can get around to... We could go around to here, then maybe do some fishing. That cool, they call that a secret fishing hotspot. That's interesting. Yeah, but this game, like just from an exploration and gathering perspective, it's just is for me. It's perfect. It's amazing. It's it's a fantastic world to explore, and the gathering. There's something about the gathering that's so addictive, and I don't know why other games don't do it. So I think some games do, but they don't go into it as much as New World does. You know, where you. It's a bit. It's unwieldy. They need to change some stuff. So you get like sets. Set, you get suits of clothing or armor that you can wear that increase your gathering luck depending on what you're gathering so if you're um, gathering from uh, you know mining node or a, whatever it may be to increase your gathering luck um, okay. um, yeah so you've got all that luck to it and the luck is there whether i'm not sure how, how well or not luck works but luck is there to increase your chance of getting stuff so when you mine from a node you might get something you might get some other stuff so like the nodes have got their own um like um loot tables and i know that some games kind of do it a bit but i don't know why they don't just go all in like um new world does it just makes gathering like such a such a like a dopamine rush really Hey Stall, what are you doing mate? Hope you're well. Play some New World today. I know that most, a lot of people on my channel don't really have much of an interest in New World, but it's just what I'm doing today. Yeah, but I'd love to see other games just go all in on the gathering. So I've got a sliver of Thunderstone. I don't know what it does, but I, it's just, it's just, it's just there, you know. And you get like, like uncommon rare and like, 
you know, very rare items as well. Um, I think we're going into what level is that? I don't know. Uh, a tier five crafted monolith. What are monoliths? I'm pretty sure I could solo that, but I have to change my gear and stuff, and I can't be bothered. Let's go and do some more stuff. And there's so many gatherables as well, so many nodes of different different things and that you get different things from. It's, it's just amazing. Now, Mr. Wolf, are you going to aggro me or not? No, oh, that's good. Yeah, but the game just does does do some things. Apart from the, the PvP balance combat, which does have an impact on PV gameplay, I think that's just, that's just how, it's, how it goes, you know. Oh, there's a fishing spot here that someone is at. Um, they don't seem to be fishing though. Oh, they are. Okay. Oh, let's go over and do this because I think these are the fishing spots for the. So the fa the fair has got its own fishing spots basically, where you attach these maudlin bug bait, um, and then you. And then you catch fish that you use for the fair to gain faction and to get like um I love fishing in New World, it's just amazing. There's a little mini game and stuff. It can take um it can be a bit frustrating depending on the depending on if you've got fishing trophies and all and where you've spec your points and stuff. It's more that you have to be careful of the line tension thing with fishing. But I do love the fishing. It is, yeah. Like I mean, I, I saw someone. I saw. I saw some, some, someone playing. Oh, I got a rare, rare fish. I think we'll stay here until we uh, exhaust these hot spots. Yeah, I saw someone playing RuneScape the other day, and it looked very similar. I keep meaning to give it a go, but I did have a trouble. I did have trouble with the. Um, I did have trouble with the movement. I wasn't a fan of the, of the character movement and stuff. Ultra Online as well, yeah, yeah. This this game gets so much right with regards to certain mechanics, and uh, I mean, I was, I mean, basically, New World got me into gathering, and and thus got me into crafting a bit because I was never a crafter or a gatherer in, in MMOs, but there was just something about the way that they've done it here. I think it feels nice when you're doing it, even just walking up to a mining node and using it. It feels nice and smooth. It's not just that, it's the fact that you've got this like dopamine hit of um this dopamine hit of you don't know what you know, each node has got a loot table, as I said, like a like a mob. It's amazing. Same with the chests, like the chest opening in this game. It's like so addictive because the, the chests have got like their own um yeah, loot tables that are quite expansive. Um okay, so we've only got we just basically got mediums there. I think I think if you get a legendary fish from here, um, oh, if you get a legendary fish, you can break the fish down. I think a legendary fish gives you legendary bones, which you can turn in for a token, a big token. And I don't think these kind of things kind of cost a lot of resources. Like if you, if you've got a game already at the moment where you've got nodes, then just add a loot table to them. Actually, I guess you probably then have to find a way, you'd have to expand your crafting system, I guess, to include those extra stuff, you, extra bits you get from loot tables um, into your crafting system. But again, you know, you could, that, you know, that doesn't seem like, um, yeah, I mean, I, um, there are two things holding it back. I think I, I said it, I'm not sure. I said it at the start of the video. Um, one of them is unavoidable, and it, again, you, you kind of have to, you kind of have to um, make it clear that you're not moaning about it because people who like PvP will just get all salty. But the fact that the we weapons have to be balanced around PvP means the PVE combat is incredibly boring and repetitive. Like the new weapons they released, like the Void Gauntlet, for example. Like I was really looking forward to that. But when it came out, um, it was basically it was basically pretty naff 
because it had to be balanced around PvP. You know, it couldn't. The fact you only get a few skills to use as well on from the trees mean that that is always how it's going to hold it back for me personally. But I guess I'm judging it harshly on like EverQuest, for example. You know, where it's just a completely different uh, ball game with regards to that kind of stuff. Exit fishing. But I agree, you know, I agree. I think that what they have done, and I know this won't help a lot of people who had problems with some of the core mechanics, but they've had it added a lot of quality of life stuff, which make the game nicer to play. I mean, to be honest with you, like, I'd be happy if they just did what other MMOs do. Well, I say other MMOs, other MMOs are maybe not as modern, and that is let, let you go into a dungeon on your own. What the hell is that all about? at the end not perfect that's annoying <laughs> yeah like lost ark does it as well what is it with these new mmos like why can't if i just want to go into a dungeon why can't i just go into a dungeon even if it's too hard for me it's a different gameplay experience but you have to be in a group can you imagine how restrictive everquest would have been like if you had to be in a group to go in a dungeon stupid choice the music's so nice I used to watch my sons play Guitar Hero and like they used to they used to do like the they used to do really well on things like the was it Dragon Force through the fire and the flame or something and I was like oh my god <laughs> I mean I slightly struggle on some of the longer songs here on this <laughs> I was never very good at guitar. I don't know why like my I've been playing games all my life and my hand even for my age my hand to to eye coordination is pretty damn good but and i can do it but it, it does i do i do struggle with it let's play let's play something different let's see what we've got with a different instrument the blacksmith arm oh that's a drum one um let's go for skilled oh my god okay and you get buffs as well so you play you play the music as you go up in the music it's not a combat skill, but as you go up in level, you get different buff unlocks that you can unlock. Decidedly dexterous. Let's see what that does. Okay, don't laugh. Here we go. Oh, no. There's no part selected. Oh, so you need the sheet music as well. I don't have the sheet music for that. That's annoying. Honey and biscuits. Mandolin. We already had the mandolin. My new home. Flute. Oh. Okay. I don't think I've played a flute yet. Yeah, I don't know why I struggle with them. I, don't, I mean, I do okay. But... Well, this one's not so bad so far. normally happens to me is if I miss a note it then mucks up like I, I have trouble recovering oh what I was lucky there I was lucky there because the note I missed was at the end of a was at the end of a, a line, so nothing came after it. You get tip. It's got this thing where you get tips and stuff as well, <laughs> and you can play in a band, like you can play in a group. I can imagine sort of people coming back for this, you know, because people do like these kind of systems. So what are we doing? Um, I think we just got the fish from here, didn't we? I apologise if you can hear seagulls, but we've got 
Um, we get a seagull nest on our roof, and uh, we've got a young one at the moment who uh, is always hungry, which is not surprising because it grows very quickly. Uh, oh, there's a respawn. These respawn really quickly, actually. Oh, this is this is this is the this is the MMO life for me. Like this is like just running around, just doing stuff in the world is what this game does so well. It can do, yeah. So you can buff other players as well. Oops, and you can play in a group. You can kind of like, a, yeah, you can just you can choose to play in a group. So uh, I haven't got into that yet. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd be. I'd be the one who the, oh, they wanted to kick out the kick out the group basically. <laughs> It's not super hard. I mean, I think that was... Was that novice? I'm not sure what level that was. Um, ooh, this might be... The line tension on this is this is really fighting, this one. So maybe this is a big, bigger version. Maybe this might be a legendary one. Come on now. Uh, it was a medium. Okay. I've maxed fishing out, actually, because I liked it so much. It does buff other players. Yeah, so, yeah, so I've got this buff on me now. Uh, bonus gathering speed. Oh, that's not. Nice. Wow. That is definitely a nice song to put on before you go. This is a cool lake, because it's got a normal fishing spot over there as well as the uh, as well as the festival ones it's interesting what you say I said earlier about reputation though and I think that um, I was talking oh, I was talking a uh, small one uh, yeah it did seem a bit easier to catch actually you can increase all, all of how good all of your skills are as well like even to even so, I think I've got points into focus at the moment, which I shouldn't have, but you get fishing line ten percent fishing line tension. That one I don't really need actually. I should be going for it's easy to respect your points. I should be going for two hundred here to get some more fishing line tension, but it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, sorry, it's interesting going back to saying about, um, oh, hello, I think we've got a legend Lego here. This is going to take a while to land. You can tell, like, the fish just looks bigger in the water. There are these, with the fishing, there are these little breaks where the tension will suddenly go up slower than you're pulling, and that's when you need to kind of hit the, hit the gas as it were. Um, oh, this is huge. We've got a big one, boys. Wait. That's a large one. Oh, I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be a le legendary one. Oh, well, that's all right. Uh, there were three spots here, weren't there? Yeah, sorry. Um, you, you know, if you'd watch your channel, you know I, I sidetrack myself. It's not hard. Um, yeah, like like a, that initial impression. I was talking about it a bit with um, oh, I was talking about it a bit with with Embers Adrift. But I know a couple of you went back to it after the wipe, and you just couldn't get back into it again because of uh, various things. And I think the introduction to a game is so important. Like I saw some stats that. Um, most MMO players quit an MMO within the first hour. Quite like quite a large percentage of them. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and that, that that first impression is so important. The New World's first impressions were just terrible, you know. So I think that's just that's what happened basically. Uh, oh, there's another one over there. I could, honestly, could sit fishing all day. Um, 
I think, yeah, okay. I think I might not have put my bait on there, which was a bit of a, a bit remiss. Something that I never do in an MMO, but I literally avoid combat, which is ridiculous because I'm just, I find it just so tedious. There are, there, you can challenge yourself. Like I do go to uh, like Merc Guard on my own and stuff. I like to challenge myself from a, from a fighting point of view, but it's, it's just a shame. It's so, hang on. Oh, there's fresh water versions as well. Oh, I didn't realise that. Maybe that's why I've been catching any any legendaries. Here we go. This must be fresh water, right? Well, that took a while. One, oh, we've got something else. What is that? What I like about um, fishing as well is you get chests. When you open the chest, you get treasure. And the chests have got their own loot pools as well. Oh. <laughs> what? You got some wood. Okay. Well, these fishing spots seem to spawn really quickly here. <laughs> Let's have a look. I think the wood, maybe the wood must be part of the event. Um, where's the wood? Oh. Oh, yeah, so the, the wood is part of the event as well. Fair enough. It's fresh water, isn't it? Yeah. So let's do some, let's do some normal freshwater fishing. See what we can get. The, the amazing thing also is that each fishing node has its own loot table, depending on where you are. So if you go to a, a certain location, you'll catch certain fish. If you go to a, a different location, I haven't got much freshwater bait at the moment. Yeah, if you go to a different location, you'll catch a different type of fish. Um, Okay, Stalwart, see you later, mate. Hey, Chris, how you doing, mate? I hope you're well. Yeah, well, there's a, there's a summer there's a summer festival thing at the moment going on, and um, there are these special summer festival fishing spots uh, where you get stuff that you turn in and whatnot. Um, and they seem to be spawning here, so I'm waiting. But this is a normal fishing spot, this one. Wow, this is a... What the hell is this? It's like a swordfish. Not sure how you'd ever catch a swordfish on a rod, but maybe you can. I need to go and farm up some bait. I didn't realise I was so low. <clears throat> I maxed out fishing in it. What? Uh, a paddlefish? What the hell? <laughs> okay. I wonder if happens if I use the... Oh, we've got a chest. Nice. I wonder what happens if you use the event bait on um, a normal fishing spot. If you still get like a bonus. Treasure chest. This game is just got gathering. It's perfect. It's just so interesting and nice. Oh, hello. What is that? I think each air, each each zone in the game has its own legendary fish that you can get from it. I've got some of them. But I don't think I've got all of them at the moment. Um, that's huge. Is that a dragonfish or a frogfish? Holy smokes! I've got my fishing. I've got my fishing gear on as well. You got that fishing gear. <laughs> Excellent. It's funny how a game just. Uh, oh my! I've got coffee here. Sorry, I'm gonna have to drink my coffee in a sec. Cause it's getting cold. Another chest. It's amazing how a game. I don't know why I was never into gathering or crafting that much, but it's amazing how a game can just boom. Just the way they've designed it just gets you into in, gets you into it, and now it's the only reason I play New World, pretty much. Uh, 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 this one's fight. This one's got a lot of fight. I 
I should change my stats to get that extra line tension bonus, but I don't think it's probably worth it particularly. Ooh, that was close. What the hell is this? It only looks like a small fish. Piranha. Holy smoke. Um... Oh, there's a named, uh, a named, I don't know if it's a crocodile or alligator, but there's a named alligator or crocodile in the, uh, in the lake. I don't know what it drops, maybe it's for a quest or something. Right, so after this I need to go round to the fair is quite similar to the Christ the summer fair is quite similar to the Christmas one or the winter one. Where each town has got like a special tree or something in it where you need to, you can go and get bonuses. Paddlefish, okay. Let's just see if you can use the festival bait. Let's see if that what that does on a normal node. Probably nothing. Oh, we got us a chest. Is that a chest? Yeah, yeah. Who's that mining behind me? I recently merged, <coughs> like my server was dead, and I recently merged me onto another server. I've got no idea what it is or where it is, or if it's any good. Um, oh, I like this. Uh, I like this little lake here, um, or pond, what you want to call it. And this node here has got a lot of chests coming from it. Yeah, some nodes just have like more chests and stuff as well, which is quite weird. And we got that chest with the festival bait as well, so. Trying to see what the fish is when it's coming in. This looks quite small, this one. Although it's a fighter. Oh, it looks like another frogfish. Maybe this is a spot for those. I just noticed that the uh, festival ones haven't. The festival ones have just respawned really quickly and now they haven't come back again. Oh, there's one. It looks like a frogfish again, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Enough of that. Oh, using my speed buff while I'm in the water. And then trying to climb over something you can't climb over. There you go. Okay, so we'll do this one node and then we'll go and visit the towns. I can show you my houses as well. You have to keep you have to put the bait on every time. It doesn't remember the bait from before. Um, you have to wait until it says landed on hotspot as well, so it tells you when you're. Uh, um, it's just like a looks like a medium one, maybe. Small. I like some of the cosmetic stuff. I'm not quite. I'm not quite a big. I'm not a massive fan of the over over. Oh, this is huge. I'm not a bit massive fan of the like that guy's fishing rod there. It looks a bit over designed from a cosmetic point of view. I wish it was HD Project Ninety Nine. <laughs> Oh, do you know what? If if I mean, I've moaned quite a lot about Pantheon. I must confess, and there's some stuff I still don't like about what they're doing. But um, that's enough fishing for the sec. But if if they can, if they can get some gathering like this in the game, as well as get that EverQuest combat, that's going to be a huge, huge. Right, this is my main house. In, I'm still in Brightwood, where I've always been. Huh? 
Okay. Okay. Let's move away a little bit. That means I can go and mine this node. Woohoo! And I've seen a green one up there as well. <laughs> You can you can start on one side of the world and run across the other side and you'll always see a node in front of you that draws you to it and that's exactly so I've got a, I've got I've now got to mine these three here but I just can't not do it there's loads of corruption around here as well Over here, isn't there? Oh, there's one here, one over there as well. There's four. Holy smokes. If they ever, if they ever um, include a taming class in this game, that's game over. I reckon. I'm not going to go over that hill because I just see another node. So let's um, let's go. Home. Hmm. What's going on here? Why can I not fast travel? Is that a bug? <laughs> oh dear! Is it telling me I can fast travel because there were goats nearby? Okay. Well. Oh. Okay. Uh, is there a fast travel bug? Let's try my house over here. Okay, well, I'm not in combat. Ay, 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 ay. I was fast traveling just now. Hang on a sec, let's just have a quick look on the the webs. Uh, new world, fast travel, failed. We find out it's a bug that just turns up every now and again and you can't get rid of it. Log out and wait for five minutes. Well, that's not particularly good when you're streaming, really. Um, Let's go over. Let's go over a zone area line type thing. See if that works. Exactly. Exactly, mate. One hundred percent. If I could take this world with a gathering and give it EverQuest combat, that's it. I'm not playing any other MMO ever again. And maybe Pantheon will give us something like that. I don't know. I say combat like EverQuest. Like PvE mechanics like EverQuest as well. So like in New World, you can't go into a dungeon on your own. Ridiculous. But what What the hell? Why has why the game got that restriction? Even if it's too half me and I die, I don't care. That's kind of part of the, part of the challenge. So yeah. There's more, more gathering. So we might have to log out and log back in again because I kind of need fast travel for what I'm going to be doing. Um, About to cross into a new area, so maybe it'll uh, it'll work. Okay. Um. No. Okay. Let's log out. That's annoying. <clears throat> yeah, 
right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, it's not. It's certainly not a criticism of EverQuest in any way. It's just how they split things up into zones, you know, and it was a. I think Pantheon's got zones. Maybe. I'm not sure if it's got seamless travel between them. Right, let's see if that's worked. I don't want to have to log out for five minutes and log back in again. Didn't see much fun at all. It's a shame that there's such small populations here because it just means that the equipment is ridiculous. Like some of the like some of the admittedly really good pieces of armour and whatever um, go for so much money that the average person could never afford to buy them. I don't know who's buying them, to be honest. Oh, that's annoying, that is. Okay. Well, I'm going to come right out of the game. Hopefully that means you'll just see a black screen in the background. Um, but I'm still streaming. <laughs> I've been streaming, creating videos all this time, and I've still got really got no idea how it works. <laughs> let's, um, let's try it again. Oh, that's good. That's good. I wonder if they'll still have that little exit and entrance through to zones and stuff, or it would just be open world like New World. I'd kind of prefer that, but... Um, And I'm probably going to upset someone on the video later when they watch it, but <clears throat> it's a shame that... Oh, I've got some sort of pirate vibe going on on this alt bloke who I've never played, hardly. Um, I just wish that they could find a way of... A seamless way of disentangling the PvP from the PvE. You know, I kind of thought to myself, maybe an, an idea would be they could come up like with each weapon, they could come up with PVE tr skill trees you can only use in PVE, just to make the combat more more interesting. But I don't know. I'm not a coder. I've got no idea how crazy that that idea is. Come on now. Oh, it's worked. Okay, so we're going to go around some towns to complete some of the medley, some of fair, some of medley fair. They call it a medley fair, like all one word, which. I'm not sure. I've never heard that before, but some of medley fair. This is my house. Um, not very well laid out. At the last event, I did get myself a corrupted rabbit um, chest, though, which has got loads of space. Uh, and one of the um, one of the quality of life changes they made was you can take anything from any of your storage chests in any town. So Windswood has got my like blacksmithing, smelting um, stuff in it. But I can take that from he here and put it into my inventory. I should put that in there, actually. Lighten my load a bit. And you can transfer stuff into it as well from your inventory, no matter where you are. Um, only ever, I'm, Whenever I've been mining, I've only ever got one piece of void ore. <laughs> and I don't think void arm is particularly um, fashionable anymore. So uh, I've got loads of the other stuff. What's this? void essence I don't know I should probably see if some of this stuff is worth any gold um, let's open our fishing chest we got oh I got oh wow I didn't realize that <coughs> fishing chests give you sheet music wow and I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna break my fish down as well what do we get oh no that was a chest or oh, more sheet music I wonder if you only get Fisherman's Lament, though. Probably, because these are fishing boxes. Yeah, so I've got about four of those. <laughs> Let's see what we get from our fish. Okay. Not about the same. About the same. 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 Oh, I think we're going down... Now, what fish is this? I've got 10 fillets for that one. 
Oh, oh, we got a legendary fish bone. Nice. So if I go and turn that in at a fire in one of the summer medley fair, um, summer medley fair, uh, villages. Yeah, that's the danger of first impressions, though. And it's kind of what I've been trying to say to the devs for Embers Adrift. You know, your first impressions are important. Like, I personally think that New World is... Well, I love playing it. Um, as unfashionable as that may be. I've got all this stuff. I don't even know where most of it came from. Um, yeah, it's just house decoration, basically. I think I got this from the winter event, this chair and chandeliers. No, I mean, I love New World for certain aspects. There are certain things that it does wrong. I, mean, I think if you're, if you're a crafter gatherer and you like house, house decoration and stuff, this has, got, this has got it all, really. But you do have to get involved in some of the combat, I think. So, And the combat is the weak point, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so where's the summer medley fair tree or whatever it is? Oh, it's a little, it's like a, oh nice, it's like a, whatever it is. So you go to these, I think the first three you get, you get like a little reward. So what do we get? We've got some reputation event. Gypsum, a beautifully packed package. Nice. So I think if it's like the winter one, then you do... If it's like the winter one, then the, the actual location, like the tree or the... Um, the tree or the... In this case, it's like a... I don't know what it's called. It's like a big tent. <laughs> uh, you do quests within the town and it upgrades the, it upgrades the tent. And the higher the level of the tent, the, um, the better pa like reward package that you get. I must confess, being a lazy git, um, I don't do any of the quests to upgrade the upgrade the stuff. But I'm sure there are people that play the game all the time and do do it. Okay, this is my um, my in spawn or oh, reward territorial triumph, sneaky the smuggler. Oh, someone's playing a song. I can't hear other people's songs though. But maybe if, if I go into music mode. Oh, it's too close to another performance. There is a way of playing with other people. Um, okay. Grand bestowment. Okay, so that was a beautifully packaged one. That was a good choice for my third one. I must confess, I. I think this server is one that's been merged, but there are, even off peak, there are tons of people playing on this server. Um, oh, I can hear that one. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Nice. This must be like a buff area as well. Cool. I bet a lot of people came back just to play the music. Right, so we've got one more town. To oh my god. There's a saying where I come from. Um, and it's like I come from like a very poor working class background. And there's a saying that we've got for people who were working class and then they come into some money. And this is what you get. <laughs> Bad taste, basically. Who decorated this house in Windswood? You really should just hang your head in shame. This is a problem that you got in Shroud of the Avatar as well. Like, it's not as bad, obviously, and it, and the performance is a lot better. But you let people um, decorate the front of their houses, <laughs> and it just goes wrong. <laughs> right. So, oh, someone's playing a trombone, are they? Oh no, double bass. Nice. 
nice. <laughs> I'm not sure why he's naked. Maybe music, no, naked music playing is all the, all the rage. Um, let's go to a house in Reekwater. You can have three houses. I've only got a very small one in Reekwater. Not, not. I think he's got a dog and a bed and some other bits, but not, not much. I hope the performance is okay and you can see the game okay and whatnot. New World is one of those games that, when you're recording videos for it, YouTube doesn't like it particularly because there are lo loads of loads of pixels and stuff going on. And you get quite a lot of uh, the bit bit rate just doesn't seem to handle it. So hopefully you can see and hear everything okay. They still haven't included something for sleeping in the bed, so you can get in the bed. But you don't really. It'd be nice if you got like a little buff for it or something. That would be uh, pretty cool. Um, let's go and check out the tree. What I might try and do today. Is on my, on my previous server when it was a bit busier, like they used to do daily chest runs and stuff, but then there just was no one on there to do it. Uh, well, that's not what we want, although we do want that actually. Let's do that while we're here. I've only really just come back to like playing again, so um, I'm trying to remember this daily stuff that you need to do. Uh, I think it was my jewellery that wasn't yet 600 gear score. So what I was doing before was just every day creating a box for them. I think I'm running out of gypsum though, so I probably need to <coughs> look at um, look at how to get gypsum stuff. Uh, I'm not in a guild or anything, which I probably need to sort out actually. Let's see what gear score increases we get. Normally you get like a point. <laughs> I've got a rare amulet. So this is another thing they added to the game to help you increase your gear score. Um, you get some good ones sometimes. Like, um, not that one. Lots of stats, like 24 decks on that one, <clears throat> 24 con. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else does this, but when I play New World, I find I, f I pick up stuff. Like sometimes I picked up like really rare stuff worth tons of cash from a node, but I haven't noticed that I picked it up. I've got some pictures as well. I think this scenic stuff is part of like a little quest thing where you go around and you can get scenes. Um, some normal fish here I'm always picking up craft mods some of them worth loads of money but I just don't check to see how much they're worth anyway let's go and where's the uh, where's the medley tent where's the summer, summer medley fair tent oh I've got a plus two for that one I need to run some um, I need to run some some dungeons and get into the mutated dungeons but I must confess I've kind of got that group anxiety thing going on again which I, which New World got me out of actually but I think it's because the mutated dungeons are pretty tough and I'm like oh I don't want to go in there and screw things up and stuff so it's a bit of avoidance thing going on so I, I need to get back into that again just so I can upgrade my gear really um, let's open let's open these see what we get from these Exquisite. That's a higher level one, is it? Oh, it's just going to be tokens and coin, I think. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, well. It's better than nothing. Uh, so, let's go and show you... A... Oh, what's that? Is that a... I'm just going to be looking in someone else's house. Oh, I like that tapestry. It's got some. Oh, you got mu Oh, you can set up musical instruments in your house. Is that a set of drums? Very basic house, but that tapestry must be a store-bought thing, though. I reckon. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's show you one of the Medley Fair. Um, <laughs> some of Medley Fair villages. 
I've got some stuff to turn in there. I'm not sure what to do after that, really. If, you, if you're interested in getting the max reputation with the medley fair, you need to if you log in every day and you go to each, you go each to each of the four locations. And if you dance, there's a little circle. If you dance in it, you get a big faction increase. I think you can only do it once per day, maybe. I'm not sure. And uh, this is the... You got there's a quest line that you go through that's pretty quick, and then this this guy has got. Um, so I'm up to Bard at the moment, approaching virtuoso. Then Maestro. But uh, apparently, like later on, you get you get some uh, legendary patterns for items, where you can just craft this, and you get an item with 600 gear score. It looks like. I'm not sure what stats you get on them. But there's also some um, beach bunny. I don't know what you'd want that for. Uh, looks like there's some fishing rod cosmetics. Shine of the Sturgeon. Is that a new fishing? Doesn't look very. It looks like I've actually got the colours of the sturgeon, isn't it? And texture. And you get fishing trophies put up in your house as well. Ah, see, that guy had that fishing. He had this one, didn't he? <clears throat> that guy we was fishing with before. He had this uh, cosmetic. Um, it's actually got some... Actually, no, it's not a cosmetic. It's a fishing rod with some pretty good perks on it. Lucky day, lucky night. So that's a... That's all my... That's a... I think my fishing rod might have some f freeze on it. Lucky night three... Actually, that fishing rod, I'm going to go for that fishing rod, because that's got some amazing perks on it. Um, so if I turn in that those legendary fish bones I got onto the Summer Medley Fair bonfire, they should have made this a bit like the um, Wicker Man. That would have been cool. Uh, so I've got, a, I've got three premium tokens. Now, uh, you can mount the fish for cosmetics in your house. And I think here you turn in some, yeah, you turn in some stuff for tokens to buy stuff from the store. Oh, we got 60 fillets. I don't think you can use the fillets for um, making normal food. And we got dust. Okay. That's a summer medley fair. Welcome one. Welcome all to the summer medley fair. This year is a complete triumph. Ah, so that that is a that's a that's so that is a cosmetic, whereas this is actually a fish fishing pole. Um It's got some good uh, perks on it, though. Like, you know, like, uh, I'm never a fan of emotes. This is quite interesting. Oh, I'd like that. That's ten. That's ten super, super credits, though. I might have to, I'm going to have to work on that. I'm up, I think we'll be going fishing. <laughs> and stuff. Uh... Yeah, I think it turns the camps you put down. I think this is a camp skin. It is camp skin. Yeah, oh, I like that. Okay, right. I'll keep my eye on a chess run because I'll take you on a chess run if one comes up. Uh, look at that. Um, Fire duck, aqueduct, whatever you want to call it. That's what's so amazing about this game. Like the world is just uh, amazing. I can't wait. Oh, there's an iron node over here. I can't wait to get... Oh, so is this someone's camp? So this looks like the camp skin. Oh, it's got a little... 
Oh, it's got food out. It is, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have, I've got to get that camp skin. I wonder if there was a winter one that I missed. That's annoying. I'd like to have had the winter one. I'm just going to have an iron node over there. <laughs> I do apologise. But we'll focus in a sec. We'll do... We'll if a, if a if a chest run comes up, we'll do it. If not, then we'll do something else. Um, I'll keep an eye on. I, I won't let that distract me. I'll keep an eye on the chat to see if a chest run starts. Ah, oh, they're already doing it. Let's see if we can join in, shall we? See if we can join a chess run at some point. Run is at, is at malevolence and pause and siren after. Should we do that? Let's see. <coughs> we probably won't if they're if they're in malevolence, we probably won't be able to get in join it then but maybe we can join it um the pools or whatever is they're going to go next i've got loads of quests and stuff to do as well um I think they keep adding, I say keep, they've been adding quests and whatnot. Right, in the meantime, let's, uh, I still haven't completed the fishing quest yet, even though I've maxed fishing. <coughs> Is that something I need to do? Now, I'm sure I heard somewhere that yeah, it's got to be up here, isn't it? North East. Let's go to Shattered Mountains, just for something to do. And we'll see if there are any... Um, I'll show you my Ebon Scale Reach House. Then from there we'll, try, we'll teleport to Shattered Mountains and we'll... We'll open some chests, and at the same time we can um, uh, we can look for fishing festival fishing spots. That might be so we can do it all in one. Shatterman has got loads of gathering nodes as well. Uh, this is my house in. You can have three houses. They've all got a dog. Let's just check the. Uh, the medley fair tree or tent here to see what's what where is it there it is now in the winter one you basically got rewards just from the first three so this is a fourth one opulent wow let's see if we get anything at all oh oh i got it oh that's interesting. Okay, well I'll I'll collect the rest later. <coughs> I'm sure in the winter one it was only the first three that you did you got, that you got rewards from. Um, but we're going to start. I normally start up here, although I think they changed this chest quite a while ago, um, so that it wasn't as good as it used to be. I'm not sure if anyone else did, but I ended up dropping a lot of my... Um, I need to change my outfit, actually. I need to change my armour. I ended up dropping a lot of my luck gear, because I just wasn't sure what luck was supposed to be doing. Or if it actually gave a huge... There's a lot of people here. If it actually gave much of a um, a boost or not. Okay, what am I wearing? <coughs> 
I've got my dex gear on. It's an upgrade system, so I've got I've got this hat, which I could um, which I could upgrade using a new currency called uh, this. <laughs> um, yeah, upgrade it to six twenty. But I'm kind of saving my stuff. I mean, this for the build I've currently got. This is a very good. <clears throat> I'd rather the skinning luck was something else, but it's a good item. Uh, I think that's all what I'm using. I don't think that's what I want. Um, no. I've got a bit of luck, but not as much as I used to have. Just have a luck set, but I've got luck trophies in my house. Um, okay, I need to respect my stats. Uh, I don't remember what I had. I know I need to get to 200 decks. Maybe. I could go 250 decks, I guess. 250 decks, something to strength for a slight increase in damage. <coughs> That'll do. That'll do. Let's go. Right, so we're going to go around Shattered Mountains doing some stuff. There's, oh, there's also some. There's a fishing free, level, level free fishing spot there. Okay. The thing, the thing with the, how they've designed this, and I don't know if it was by chance or you know when you look at how the game came out you kind of think a lot of this stuff may have been by chance <laughs> but um given the benefit of the doubt the way it's designed is that i can come to shattered mountains every day and it's what i used to do when i was playing before go around and do stuff and not get bored i don't know why you're doing the same stuff over and over again well i do know why some of it is is that kind of dopamine hit of opening chests and stuff and you know you get a chance of getting some stuff so you kind of got that stuff going on um, but I'm not 100% sure why I don't get bored um, oh god it's our archers our archers are the most range ranged NPCs are the most annoying in every game I've ever played every MMO and it's the same in New World they're so annoying Oh, hang on. Whoa, what's time? Whoa, dudes. Come on. Get me in that group. So if we can get into a group, we're going to do a palace run. We can go for that chest dopamine hit, kill some bosses and stuff. That's what we used to do anyway. What we'll do, if we actually get to the palace, um, it was Palace, wasn't it? Let's see if we get get get, get a group in right. So 
Certainly the nodes are not. No, they always spawn. They're always at the same spot. Um, no, I think I think in, in regard to nodes and mobs, it's not at all, no. for the aggro of trying to get into a group. Let's just do the simple. Let's just do the the the, sen the sensible thing, shall we? And let's just invite people to a group who need a group. Maybe that will work. Yeah, you needed a group. funny because people say group and they then they decline it I don't quite, don't know quite know why that is actually it's fine um, whenever I'm in a group I, we never seem to do enough DPS to actually get a get boss boss loot anyway <laughs> so <laughs> I'll just open chests let's try and get in a group again she don't bloody like me maybe it's a strange thing though because people are looking for group and you invite them to a group and they decline your group Thank God, oh, thank you, dude. That's much appreciated. <coughs> Hi, Philip. It r depends on what you're looking for. <coughs> so, like, I love oh, trying to jump through the window. <laughs> like, the world exploration and gap, like, coming from someone who was never a big gatherer or crafter in a game, this game turned me on to gathering. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's amazingly designed. Not only, oops, hello. Not only is the world amazing. Um, to explore, but the gathering is, is dopamine hit after dopamine hit. So like, you got chests. People do chest runs like this um, to increase your expertise, and just to, maybe you get a rare drop because all the, all the chests have got their own loot tables. All the nodes have got their own loot table. So when you're mining or if you're gathering food or fiber or whatever it may be, or you're skinning, skinning an animal. Like everything has got its own loot table. Um, yeah, so it's like, oh, I've got some schematics. Yeah, so it's like someone wants to, someone has to join a group that's already full. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. But at least we're in a bit of a group, which is quite nice. Uh, yeah, so if you if you like world exploration, it's beautiful, beautifully designed, this, this world. Um, and the no gathering and stuff is fantastic um, if you like gathering the crafting is very grindy but again it's fun if you like that kind of thing um, 
the the big the big negative the big negative for me is the PVE combat really. Um, because it's a, because it was primarily a PVP game when it when they were first in development, um, it means that everything is basically balanced around PVP, and that just means that the PVP PVE aspect of combat is very limited. Um, they also make some stupid decisions, like as I said previously, you can't go into dungeon on your own; like you have to be in a group. I don't know what it is about new MMOs that are, insist on doing this. Um, like Lost Ark has got a lot of content that you can only go into if you're in a group, and some other games do the same. Uh, like Final Fantasy XIV gets around it by essentially giving you your own group of NPCs, which I which I really like about that game. Um, but that's a disappointment for, for me, really. But I understand it because it was always, you know, initially this game, believe it or not, was going to be one of those PvP survival games, like Rust or something. But I think they did a very, very early. I think they did a very early, like, uh, private alpha testing type thing, and not many people turned up for it, basically. So then they tried to make it a bit more of an MMO ish type thing. Um, they included PvE and stuff and whatnot. Um, yeah, but it, it's, I mean, it's a wonderful world to explore if you like that. I'd love that. Um, if you like the gathering and crafting, it's got you covered as well. Although some of the crafting is, can be can be really grindy. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the the combat is there. I mean, what I like about the combat, I'm using the spear, and there's different weapons you can use. Um, oh, someone got the ironwood tree there. That's annoying. Let's set a respawn point. There we go. Yeah, so like, I love the spear because it, the spear is almost like a dance when you're fighting. It looks really, really cool. So like the feel of it is really good. Although you can't see it in this mess of, of people. <laughs> but it's just so limited. Like, you, like each weapon skill tree has only got six active skills. Um, half of the skills I don't think anyone uses because they're not very good. It's just very limited in that regard. But it's got potential, like you know, like if they could, if they could find a way of, you know, separating the PvP and PVE combat. So maybe they did like a PVE tree that you can only use in PVE, for example, that was a bit more interesting, and wasn't balanced around PvP. That might be that might might be pretty good. But it is what it is in that regard. Um, but I love it. I mean, I love just running around the world doing stuff. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, there could have been, and I'm sure there must have been some random, <coughs> some um, randomly generated stuff. Oh, I got a song sheet. Oh, I didn't realise you can get song sheets from chests. What? Are you pulling this stuff? Smokes. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there must have been. Um, uh, we actually got something from that mob as well. I'm sure there must have been some random generation in it. A lot of it, lot, to be fair, when you're running around, a lot of this seems per designed by purpose. On purpose, I should say. Uh, see, what normally happens on these chess runs is people don't always kill the mobs. Um, so they'll run through, and if you're straggling behind, uh, you, get, you get stuck behind all the mobs, basically. It looks like someone's pulled the tiger. But it looks like these people are actually clearing the mobs. <clears throat> so we'll go and help with the tiger in a minute. Oh, avoid it. Oh, I've got a legendary thing. Well, we didn't need to do much fighting there. Yeah, so I'll shoot, I, it's worth pointing out that you don't have to PvP at all. Um, it's something that you switch on and off. The only real issue is to do with the combat. You know, the combat does feel... I need to eat some food, actually. I don't know why I haven't got food on. Um, yeah, it's just that the, the combat... Like, like you, can, you can equip two weapons, but you can only use three skills from each weapon at one time. Um, whoa, what the hell...
Bor Borvan, the tiger. I'm going to assume we didn't get a drop there. No. Whoa. Someone's just gone in. <laughs> Someone's just gone in and pulled, pulled the bosses. It's only people on the chest run, though. I don't think it matters. We got, we got some... Oh, we got some loot from one of the one of the mobs. I don't think we got any... <coughs> we didn't get any boss loot, but there's three elite chests up here. Yeah, it's... I mean, it was a... Initially, the game was designed to be a PvP survival game. And the combat... Some aspects of the combat kind of reflect that. But there is a lot to do PvE-wise. You know, if you're into gathering and crafting and you're into... Um, uh, opening chests for that dopamine hit. Um, the wep Some of the weapons are... Like the weapons are diverse um, in the sense that you've got the healer and you've got tank and all that kind of thing, if that's your bag. I like the Warhammer, actually. I might spec into Warhammer again soon. But you're just limited in your abilities. And when you... Like I've been playing the game since release, so after I killed my you know, 10,000th mob with the same skill rotation, it kind of got a bit... <laughs> it kind of got a bit, a bit samey. Um, there's a housing system as well that's really got got a lot of um, cosmetic stuff. So if you like housing cosmetics and stuff as well, you've got that. And this stuff goes on every day. You, you just people running around all the elite areas, opening chests to increase your gear score. The game's got a gear score. I mean, I mean I, I'm not one for PvP at all now. I'm just too old for it, really. Um, but I, I get loads out of the game still. I think the problem I find is, for some reason, I seem to run slower than everyone else. And I always end up... I always turn up at the boss last. <laughs> and then you don't do enough DPS to actually get a reward from it, which is a bit frustrating. Um, there you go. Oh, I've got a recipe. Spicy steak pie. Oh, there's nothing I like better than a pie. Pie. I'll have to see if I've got that recipe and I can make some pies later. I'm one, I, I need to work on crafting a bit more because I'm one of those who just keeps gathering and I've got like my all of my bank space is full of resources for crafting but I'm not doing the crafting so I need to there are some that I need to uh, I think there's some bosses up here which we're far too late for oh we have got a full group though whoa let's see if we can do some damage Daisy, the dancing bear. Ah, oh, poor old. Oh, we got some loot. Oh, we got some epic uh, boots. Don't know what they do yet. Palace maiden Zhao. Uh, I'm not sure what she drops. Oh, oh, wow, we actually got loot. I got a legendary um, hatchet. No, a broken hatchet. Oh, I wonder if that's part of a... a, a oh. <laughs> See, that's, this is it. This is what I love. I can't help it. Just like... Oh, what did I get? I got some umbral shards. Oh, this is what I love. I got a gear score increase as well. Every MMO needs to copy New World with regards to opening chests and stuff. It's just such a rush. Where are we going next? I think we'll probably go. I wonder if they've done Merc Guard yet. Merc Guard's always hilarious. Although there's enough people here for it not to be too much of a problem. 
Come on, boys, where are we going? Oh no, we haven't finished here yet. There's another giant humanoid. Ooh. Oh, for God's sake, there's another giant humanoid mob up here. I must confess, I'm, I'm not a fan of Amazon, but for very superficial reasons, like absolutely ruining Lord of the Rings, for example, or rather than uh, anything else. I think the problem nowadays is that you... Uh, there isn't really anyone clean you can give your money to. Like, some are worse than others, but... I mean, it's not a massive thing for me. I know some people are obsessed with China at the moment. There's for good reason in, in some, some regards. But so many companies that we're unaware of are run by Chinese companies. What's that big Chinese company called that runs everything at the moment? Oh, nice. Oh, we haven't been to the mines yet. Oh, cool. So we're going to go Shatter Mountains, I, I guess then. Which means we're going into Merkgaard. That guy's hilarious because people run through it and leave people behind. <laughs> and you end up with. You end up fighting that. Hang on a minute. Ten cent, that's it, yeah. How do you know if you're giving them money or not? You just don't. To be honest with you, Phil, Philip, I gave up on that a long time ago. You know, you try and be. I remember people. I remember we had Sky and people in our family used to get all preachy about Sky. <clears throat> and I just say to them, who do you bank with? Well, Barclays. Okay, who are they giving their money to? I don't know. Well, shut your gob then. You know, it's just, you just don't, you just have no, unless you actually meticulously research every single thing, it's almost impossible to spend your money in a, an ethical manner, I think. Um, unless you live in a field, in a cottage, and you raise every, you, oh yeah, so we, so it's one of our. So we go. Is it mines or not? Busco pirates, mine or pirates? Right, so one of our dudes has gone. One one of our crew has gone to mines, or is it pirates? pirates <laughs> okay yeah so around the game you've got all these like a uh, they're like dungeon crawl boss elite type areas where um where you uh where i've got where where is pirates pirates is dead that's pirates isn't it sure someone's getting a bit salty about Pirates. Okay, so it is pirates. Someone just wanted to go somewhere else. This is pirates, isn't it? Oh, well, let's go there. It is possible <laughs> not to give them enough money. Well, <laughs> I guess so. Um, I think, see, I'm, I'm like... Um, like I, I'm kind of in the the boat of like you know I don't care if someone comes up with a fantastic idea and they make billions of pounds from it as long as they pay their taxes and they're doing legally what they should be doing and their staff are treated well that's 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 it I don't care how much money Phil Bellend has got whatever his name is <clears throat> you know I just are you paying your taxes are you paying enough taxes could the government help make you pay more taxes you know then and then and, and if you if that's the case then that's fine that's i don't care am i going the wrong way I thought this was pirates. This is pirates, is it? 
Where's my group? Okay, I'm sure this is pirates. It's been a while since I've done one of these rotations. I think the issue with that is that you, 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 you can never be aware of their ethical, ethical approach to anything, really, no matter what they say up front. So, you know, when you when you think of like, um, so where did, car, where, did, where did the term carbon footprint came from? It was created by uh, British Petroleum, essentially. And it was created at a time where they were, they knew they were going to be coming under pressure because of um, climate issues. So they created the term and they turned the blame around on us, essentially, saying, oh, you will file, your carbon footprint's too high. <clears throat> um, just as a deflection tactic from, from their approach. And those, I don't think those kind of things have changed, really. When I see companies, um, virtue signaling for, for, want of the, for want of a better term about these social, social aspects, I just, I just don't, I just don't believe them. You know, we get we talk about. I'm going to tip the performance, even though I don't know what it what it was. Um. Yeah, I just don't. Whatever they're saying on the surface, I think, is not something that um, you can ever be sure about underneath. And and I feel that I can't base whether I give them money or not on what they're telling me on on face value. And it's quite difficult to research stuff to find out what is actually going on. Even with regards to things like... Um, uh, what they call Those credits. I can't remember the word. But like... Um, like, you know, like carbon credits. Like there are companies making billions on carbon credit trading. Um, how, how is that working? You know why? They, how are their companies making all, all, all this money off of stuff that's supposed to be there to make things a better place? You know, it's um, I think the unfortunate thing is, I say unfortunate. I think the thing is that there are always people out there who are able to turn something to their own advantage and make even more money than they've got. Hey, Snake, how you doing, mate? Yeah, but I mean, I, I think people should do whatever they like, really. Don't give money. Yeah, whatever. But it's di I think it's, it's difficult to spend your money ethically at the moment. Um, well, it probably always was, really. <laughs> you know. Um, oh, there's a PvP tagged bloke there. Have we started or not? Because some people seem to have started. Um, okay. I don't know why people run past these mobs and just ignore them. I mean, I could solo these. It's so annoying, particularly in Murgar. Just clear the mobs out of the way for people coming behind you. That's all you've got to do. It's not hard. Yeah, it's like a. I mean, it is like a. It is like a plastic. Um, it is like a poor man's version of Guitar Hero, but. I'm not, I'm not sad about that because I was never really good at this Guitar Hero. Whereas my sons would like ace through the fire and the flames. Like, I struggled with the most basic songs. <laughs> so, but it's nice. It's a nice idea. It's an, and you do get bust from it. You can get bust from it. I think we're just running past the mobs again. Come on, guys. If you're in the vanguard, you should clear mobs for everyone else, I think. I got knocked down the stairs there. <laughs> oh, the Siren's Guide. I think this is a boss, so we might get some loot here if we're lucky. Oh, I got... Oh, we got... Oh, nice. Oh, we got some loot drops. Wow. Look, oh, I wonder if they've changed... Like, Because before, it was really hard to get loot from bosses. Unless you did a certain amount of damage. 
But I think I've got loot from every. Um, I think I've got loot from every boss so far, and all of those mobs. I mean, I I have got a DPS character, so I do do a lot of damage. But oh, cool! Maybe they've changed the requirements. That's good. Because it was always annoying running around, and your group didn't do enough DPS to get. Um, to get a to get a reward. Gluten-free products. Have you seen the crap that's in gluten-free products? Holy smoke. I tried gluten-free bread, gluten bread once. I mean, it was horrible <laughs> for a start. And I looked at the ingredients thing. And they were, they were, they were just because it was gluten-free, they're advertising it as healthy. And I looked at the ingredients and it was shocking. Um, I try and make my own bread now. So just like as much whole wheat flour as possible. Yeast, water, salt oil job done that's kind of that's all you need i'm not sure bob actually i mean it's, it's definitely like guitar hero-esque but a more basic version it does get harder i did try this three tiers of songs there's a chest up there i wonder if that's new i did this i, I tried second tier songs i did them okay my problem with those games, as I said, I said before, is when I miss a note, it generally deteriorates into <laughs> like missing more and more notes. Oh, it's nice I'm getting some weapon upgrade, weapon gear score upgrades. The last time I did these runs, I kept getting armor, and I've, my armor's been gear score six hundred for ages. Oh wow! What the hell was that? You can even CC these these elite mobs, so there's no excuse really. This seems like a pretty decent group. This, so they are they are clearing stuff on the way, which is good. What I like about the chest run is that often you don't know what you've got until you, until the end when you. Um, until the end when you look at your inventory at the end of a run you might find something nice and rare and stuff oh what you got we've got one shot yeah he's, he's really good the music's really nice as well and i like the fact that uh, the sheet music is like drops in the world so you've got to run around killing mobs and stuff to get the sheet music that's pretty cool there's five instruments that all sound really nice. I think I like the, I think I like the double bass the most. But it, it's not it's not it's actual it's actually like a skill to grind and it's two hundred there's two hundred levels, and it's really slow to 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 raise up. So it's not something you can just come in and bash out. I don't think. There are some instruments that people make. So there's a whole thing around it. So you can craft your own instruments as well. Um, I think there are instruments you can you can make that allow you to oh a boss mob that allow you to they give you an experience gain experience in like buff when you're when you're so I'll probably buy one of those and then grind it up a bit oh nice oh we got oh, we got a boss drop as well oh we got a legendary crafting material. So it looks like they might have changed it. Let's CC all these dudes. <laughs> then I'll run past them. <laughs> I think they might have changed it so that if you do some damage to a mob, then you get... Everyone just run past it, look. And then they get killed at the chest. <laughs> Rather than stopping and just killing the dude beforehand. Uh, he has got a lot of hit points. That might change to uh, hatchet here. Just for the extra healing. <laughs> You see it so many times, people run past the mob, particularly if it's a boss. Um, what? What sort of common loot is that? Um, is there a chest in there that I've missed? Oh, I, I feel like I'm way behind on, in the train at the moment, so we'll keep going. Yeah, they run past the chest, and then the mob one-shots them as they're opening the chest. 
<laughs> Mer if we haven't been to Mertgaard yet, that would be funny. I've seen people run past people that are dead. They won't revive them. They'll run past to the chest, pick up the chest and carry on going. <laughs> Just completely ignoring people that are, are, are knocked out on the ground. It's so funny. People get really angry as well. Well, someone going the opposite direction. <clears throat> so there's a boss mob just up here. Um, big dude. Big giant ogre with like a cannon on his back or something. He won't last very long. but I'm not sure if they've done it here, but in Murgard, the mobs scale depending on how many people are around them so that's going to be hilarious I think I think I hope they have changed the boss thing I think the problem is people rush forward because they want to get damage on the boss so I can kind of understand it Dodge to the side. He's got a peg leg as well. I love, I love, I love what I love about the world as well is that they got a good mixture of, like, it's kind of grounded in the real world, kind of, but it does have magic. I think they got that mixture. Really. Some people don't like the setting actually, but I really like because it's not high fantasy. Oh, look at the skin on that on that hammer. Pendulous foe. I might have to change to a spear warhammer build just for this. That'll be CC central, that will. Honestly, mate, I don't. Terribly. Um, and that's probably why I don't really get very far in any of them. I, I think, I mean, I think, I think at the moment what's happening. I'm going to solo this dude. <laughs> no one's helping me. I'm not soloing him. <laughs> take ages um i don't philip is the answer to that um but although saying that the mmos that i play now it's easier to it's easier to play more of them because i guess oh, i know it's a bit of a i know it's not i know it's a bit of a term that we don't like maybe but they're just a bit casual they're more casual so their time requirements are more casual. Um, it's not a good thing though. Like I, I do, I want to, I want to pick out two or three that I really enjoy playing and play those rather than playing ten. But people are just not killing the mobs now. Okay. Monday, yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did come up with a scheme like that at one point. So maybe, yeah, Monday could be New World Day. <laughs> Tuesday could be EverQuest day. I think what I do, like to be honest, what I do, I do, I do make progress because what I do is like I started playing playing Final Fantasy fourteen a few months ago. So what I do is I focus on that for a bit and make progress, and then I'll kind of leave that for a bit and go somewhere else, kind of thing. So what I did with New World, and I made sure I did with New World, was that I got to I got to max level quickly. So I, I grinded the game for a couple of months right at the start and I got to the highest level quickly and I got a decent gear score quickly. And I think that's the way to do it. So whenever I come back to the game or they add something new, then I can just come in and do it. So I think that I think that's maybe the thing to do if I start a new MMO. Is I think I'm at the front of the Vanguard now. I don't know what to do I'm at the front. I'm just I'm not a leader. I'm I'm someone I'm someone who likes to be in the middle. So we don't know what we're doing. Like, there's, a, <laughs> yeah. there's a few of us at the front in the vanguard, but we don't know what we're doing. We're waiting for everyone else. <laughs> Come on, dudes. Like, help. Let's clear some of these mobs. They're just running on. Jeez. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, see, I don't... I'd be interested to see what you think these overhauling, because... Like, as I said, like, what what I'm doing at the moment, how I play the game at the moment, 
is from those aspects that I enjoy for me is like perfect like I, I do feel that the PvE side of it needs needs changing but the problem is is that like how do you balance because it's a PvP game as well like how do you balance how do you balance that I mean we have spoken about some ideas like you know but they could um, as I said they could create some different skill trees um, they could create like a PVE skill tree for each weapon. So I'm probably going to get myself killed here. But uh, I don't know where everyone is. We seem to have... What are they doing in that room? Is there a chest in there that I'm not aware of? Oh, there is. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yeah, so I, I do. I, I mean, I, I do I genuinely feel that the game gets a lot of things right. But if you're a PVE player and you like that sort of stuff, and, and that's what a PVE combat and dungeon crawling and stuff is your bag, then I can see that it does need to change. Or some more sheet music. But I don't know how they change that without it having an effect on PvP. Um, because you bet your bottom dollar that if they try to do something like that, the PvPers would just complain that they're not focusing on PvP. And like you might think, well, that's a good thing for the game overall, and it might be. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know honestly. But I would like to see the PvP complete, PvE completely revamped. I would like to have more skill options. I'd like the combat to be more, more interesting as opposed to, to just a, a, a DPS fest, which is, which is what it currently is. But that, but I think that is all part of the fact that it's it was a PvP focused game, and that's what they're balancing around. Um, yeah, as I said, like maybe they could add, maybe they could, at some point they could add a PvE skill tree to each weapon, um, and then just make the combat harder. You know, just just make the. It's hard. It's hard though to revamp a combat system, isn't it? Because if you wanted it to be a bit like EverQuest, even remotely like EverQuest, they would have to find a way to slow down the combat in some some form. Um, yeah, it's. I think the combat from the combat side, I think it just is what it is, and I don't think that. Oh, there's a mob here called. Oof! Ow! Oh! I don't think I should be standing in front of the siren's dog. <laughs> he one shot me there. <laughs> Holy smokes. But we might get a reward though, which is good. We did, yeah, look. A health potion. Okay. Oh no, I did. I've got a fearless spies jacket. Well, that sounds like it might be a named piece of kit. Okay, well, we'll check all that later. I think I'm running out of uh, inventory weight, so I might need to, before we go through mines, I might need to um, uh, just break down some stuff. You know what, mate? I thoroughly, thoroughly agree with you. If I'm at the front, I, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. I lose my head. I think we're at the end of this dungeon, actually. So I think we're moving to Mines or Merc Guard. Yeah, I, I do agree. I, I thoroughly, I do agree with you on that. Absolutely. I think if they, and I, you know, I don't want any PVPs to get angry, but I just think that if they change the focus of the game and concentrate on the PVE, this would have a lot more players. But, but they haven't. So you know, that's. Okay, where where are we going? Okay, so we're going straight to Merc Guard. We're not going to the mines. I'll follow my group mate. Although I think that was a group mate who went to the wrong place last time. <laughs> went to the wrong place last time. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Phil. Take care, mate. Have a good one. <laughs> I think, as we said before, like talking about New World, I think it's all about perception now. 
and they basically ruin that perception uh, during release. And how, how you get that back, I'm not sure. Okay, so we're at the ancient entrance to Merc Guard. <clears throat> I thought we might do. Normally, we do mines. Maybe they've already done mines, or maybe they people just don't see mines as a worth doing anymore. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Maybe it's Merc then mines. Right, so this was the camp skin that I really wanted. That I really liked, but oh no, look at this one. Is this the fishing one? Oops. Who are we fighting? <coughs> Set my camp spot. Right, I'm going to break streaming etiquette because I need some energy, so I'm going to eat my bar. Um, let me just mute the mic, shall I? That might be, that might be better. I've got that thing where they're just running past the mobs again. You see, it normally happens in Merc Guard. I'm not quite sure where I am. People, people rush to the bosses. People already find the boss here. <laughs> Holy smokes. Luckily, he does have a lot of hit points. I need to get some... Is he dead already? Oh, come on, man. Just Jesus, what's the rush? I know it's called a chess run, but... <clears throat> You're right, mate. Yeah, it does. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I've got, I got a jewelry expertise increase. I didn't get anything from that boss. Maybe I need, to, I need to make sure I'm at the front to damage them. Absolutely. I think the first, the first proper expansion for this game will be <coughs> make or break. Bloody hell, it's just chaos here, isn't it? Oh, oh, there's a new cheat. What's going on? Never done this before. Oh, people have found a little, a little cheaty spot where you can climb. Not a little cheaty spot. They're uh, they're using their initiative. That's what they're doing. <laughs> okay, here we go. First corruption portal. Um, always a mess. Elite ancient chest. At the portals here, you needed to you needed to be here to get to get a reward for 
you needed to input something to get a reward for clearing the breach. Oh, I've got a reward, yeah. So, okay. I think I opened a chest as well, didn't I? I opened a chest for the mobs are dead. That's bad. That's bad news. more music. Wow, getting loads of music treats. Is there a chest up here? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, is it worth jumping through the window? Yeah. My Amazon Prime. All, our, all of our Amazon Primes, mate. That's what they should be spending on the expansion. No, surely Jeff's got to give him some more money, isn't he? When he was happily spending a billion dollars <coughs> destroying Tolkien's law. So I'm sure he can shill out a few quid for New World. <coughs> Interesting. So the so the uh the, the gathering supplies you got used to get from here, so like the obsidian flux there, used to be a blue item. But now it's green. I wonder what the reasoning for that is, was. Are they going to introduce some more higher level stuff? Where are we? <laughs> Mer uh, Mergard is like... I like it because it's, it's the hardest... I think outdoor area in the game, um, but it's just a mess of people. It's just, won't be at all surprised if some of us are even on different um, different stages of the uh, of the run. <laughs> oh, I got some uh, no chest there. Okay, got some scale cloth. There's a chest here, yeah. Oh. Oh, no. There's a mage camping the chest. Oh, a lot of greens in here. Oh, I need to get to the monolith so I get a reward. I didn't get a reward for that one, that's annoying. I was too late. Too late, Bob. I'm not sure if they've increased the drops from chests. I mean, it's so many items from chests. I think this is a boss up here. Yeah. Let's do some damage, at least try and get some uh, get some loot drops from him. Might get something nice. Oh, okay, no. Maybe they haven't changed it. Maybe my group was just doing lots of DPS as well. Didn't get a drop from that. Oh, interesting. We've come the. <coughs> some of us have come the. the you know, normally, you come the a different way around. Yeah, bosses drop so fast unless your group <coughs> is DPSing. You got no chance of getting any 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 loot from them. Oh, it's one of the, it's one of these dudes are crazy. They just one shot you. <laughs> wow, he just melted away.
Oh, I've got some more sheet music. Didn't get any loot from him, though. I mean, the Vanguard are just melting stuff as soon as I come across it. I don't think... No, no one seems to know where we're going. Okay. Although it's really, really hard, I, I enjoy soloing around here. You can't do... I can't do much, but I quite like the process of... Um, just you know, just just like trying, like challenging myself and stuff. Make sure I damage the mobs this time, so I get credit. Wow, stuff's dying so fast. Imperator. Just took some dudes out. PvP is a bit like this, actually. I oh, just stupidly hectic. Oh no! I don't want to abandon the event. Oh, Daniel. Ah, oh. ah, oh, what? Come on, someone get us up. Credit for that either, that's annoying. <laughs> I mean, dangerously close to my weight limit, um, so I need to stop and break down some stuff. Coming to the end. <clears throat> I bet the boss is already dead <laughs> before we get there. Oh, the boss is <coughs> boss must have just yeah. Wowza. Oh, my spear is nearly six hundred. I 
I think that's it. I think that I think that's I think that's run complete. Oh no! Oh no! We got one more. Uh, break down some of this green stuff I think oh there's a new salvaging thing as well where you get some it looks like you get some Sometimes it's hard to see even if they're where the where the mobs are. There's so many players. Now we've got a gate lord. Always fun. He's dead though, look at that. Holy smokes. Died so quickly. Okay. Can't salvage stuff, maybe it's because I'm taking damage. for that. Oh, got another recipe. Stuffed venison something. Yeah, they, they're very they're, they're communi communi communicative the developers. I certainly uh, give them that. Oh, hello. Where's everyone gone? Let's just see. Oh, no, missed him. Yeah, I mean, like, like, I really like a lot of the changes that they've done since the game came out, but I, I would say the majority of them are um, just quality of life stuff. Um, like, the, 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 you know, the gear score upgrading stuff, I guess, is pretty good. Um, 
what they've done there, giving you more options for that kind of thing, and now the weight's gone. So. Why is it not why is it not salvaging? Jeez, so annoying. Oh god, are we going somewhere else? <laughs> I need I need some salvaging time. Please. chest down there that's not what I need um, okay um, well this run's not finished where are we going next siren didn't we just didn't we just do siren I think we're done actually because the chests take a while to respawn so <clears throat> did we did siren didn't we siren is this one down here isn't it in reek water how many of my group maybe they're starting a new one but we don't need to do that Well, actually, I guess they're going to go and kill the bosses again. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know what, I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, guys, whatever, I think I'm going to stop the stream here. Um, thanks a lot for turning out. I need to go and look at what I've got and stuff. And I will have a quick look at what I got, shall we? Uh, we got a lot of sheet music, um, some recipes, a couple of caches, um, loads of gear that I need to go through. Probably end up just breaking most of this down, I think. Uh, got some scale cloth. Loads more gear that I need to look at. Um... Nothing amazing, I don't think. We did get some. We did get some. Oh, engineering scraps. Oh, wonder what that's for. So, got so got we got some um, crafting <coughs> legendary bits as well, which is quite nice. I don't think they're worth a huge amount. Um, anyway. Yes, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I just thought I'd show you some new world, really. Like, this is what I do when I play, and I really love doing it. Um, and I have hope that the game, yeah, carries on going, and, and yep, yeah, stuff happens to improve the bits that <clears throat> I'm not so keen on. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Hope